Happy Sunday. Today, let's talk about signs. When I was in court in Sacramento, I saw a sign in the courtroom. That sign was not a statute. That sign was there to notify me of unacceptable behavior. Behavior which would earn me some form of punishment or correctional action. Now, the, there were lots of signs. Some referenced penal codes, some didn't. Just because a sign doesn't reference a penal code doesn't mean that there isn't a charge which could be associated with it. If a sign says in that court, no photography, no recording of, of the proceedings, and you go ahead and do it, even though that, that sign didn't reference a penal code, you may still be charged with the penal code. The penal code doesn't care whether or not there's a sign there unless the penal code states that there has to be a sign there. So don't get all excited about signs. However, get excited about signs. Signs can inform you that you're trespassing. A lot of statutes will say, you know, if, if no trespassing signs are posted and someone enters the property anyway, they're guilty of criminal trespass. <laughs> and there's your sign. Or say, for example, the sign says that the property is intended for institutional business only. That means that if you're not there for institutional business, you're trespassing. There's your sign. Now, Will a court find that that was enough notice? I don't know. I don't know. If a sign says no photography, maybe there is a, like no photography on institutional property. Maybe there is and maybe there isn't an associated penal code. I don't know. That would, that would depend on the state, on the locality, municipality. Uh, maybe there's a federal rule, federal regulation, or a state, or a federal law on it. I don't know. But the important thing to take away is if the sign says photography is not allowed, and you photograph, that may, depending on the state, depending on the case law, that may be enough to justify a trespass or maybe even justify an arrest for criminal trespass because remember there's a difference from being trespassed and from being arrested for criminal trespass but ultimately at the end of the day signs are important a stop sign doesn't state doesn't necessarily say it. I guess maybe depending on your state law, it might have it, the whatever applicable statutes are on it. But a stop sign just says stop. And from that, you're supposed to know what to do. So if you are out there making the claim that signs aren't valid unless they state a statute on them, please explain stop signs to me. In small words, because apparently you're all smarter than I am. Publicly accessible areas. Publicly accessible areas mean that they're areas that are open to the public. It doesn't mean you can do whatever the fuck you want in them. There are lots of publicly accessible areas where the government can and does control your actions. Or at least prohibit certain actions. Like, for example, in the gallery of the United States Supreme Court, if you are sitting there listening to the judges and the attorneys during oral arguments, your behavior, your dress, all those fun things are very much 
controlled via prohibitions against certain actions and and uh, certain clothing. So if you think that you can't be, you can't have your behavior controlled just because you're in a publicly accessible location, you are incorrect. Publicly accessible locations have no bearing, zero bearing, on First Amendment analysis. Take, for example, Adderlevy, Florida. In Adderlevy, Florida, a group of protesters went to a jail in Florida to protest someone being incarcerated there. And they were on the front lawn of the jail, singing, and chanting, and just doing 60s kind of protest things. They were also on a driveway leading to the service entrance of the jail. But that didn't really play into the decision. Um, commercial vehicles, public commercial vehicles, would use that driveway to make deliveries to the kitchen. Again, not relevant to the decision. Those protesters were trespassed under Florida's trespass statute. And they made two arguments saying why they should be allowed to be there. Number one is that the area was perfect for them to protest this person being incarcerated. It was right at the jail where he was incarcerated. It was the perfect location. And, you know, they weren't bugging anybody. They were on the, uh, they were on the curtilage. They were on the, the lawns surrounding the jail. And the Supreme Court said, no, you don't get to determine where a place would be most convenient. It is down to where history has determined it or where the state has made it available. So you have the traditional public forums and you have uh, limited or designated public forums but you're down to forums, you're down to forum analysis. You don't get to pick your own. The second thing that the court said was that the state, just like any other private business owner, good morning, very excited dog, so cute. He looks like he's a lover. Uh, the, the state gets to preserve, just like any private, property owner, they get to preserve the property in their possession for the purpose that property was dedicated for. So if you go and you try to turn a Massachusetts Department of Corrections facility into a First Amendment forum, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. The state, gets to, the state gets to preserve that property for its intended purpose. Now, is, is photography where um, Monk A and Penny, was photography properly limited there? Remember the test. It's a non-public forum. The test would be, is the, is the rule or law or statute or policy, is it reasonable and is it viewpoint neutral? So that's, that's what the, the test would be if you do raise a First Amendment challenge to any actions taken as a result of it. But considering the almost identical fact pattern in Adderley v. Florida, you're going to have an impossible time distinguishing Adderley. You were there at a place that was open to the public, just like the front lawns and the driveway of the jail at Adderley were open to the public. People could walk on that grass all day long 
people could uh, make deliveries to the private private people could make deliveries to the um, service entrance all day long. There were no signs in Adderley indicating that you couldn't be there or do those things. So I guess there's all that nonsense about there's no sign. It's funny. It's funny how this community is like, oh, there's no sign. I could do it. I didn't see any signs prohibiting it. And then as soon as there is a sign, you're, everybody's like, well, yeah, technically, technically it's a policy, not a law. Uh, technically, that sign isn't written in purple crayon, so I don't have to follow it. Uh, technically, that sign doesn't have the, the penal code listed on it, so I don't have to do what it says. Technically, it's a sign, not a law. Uh, kids these days. Yes, and Natalie, there weren't signs. It was just the sheriff coming out and saying, you need to leave. And they didn't leave. In this case, there was a sign that said, if you're not here for, for institutional business, not your business, institutional business, then you can't come on the property. And you went on the property. I think that would be notice of trespass. And I think you violated, or you, yeah, I think you ignored that notice and you decided to trespass anyway, and lo and behold, you got arrested. Now, from my understanding, unless there are additional charges, uh, if it is just trespass, it would be a 50, up to a $50 fine, and up to three months in jail. I hope the $40 you paid to get out was the fine, and I hope you're not going to do the jail. Anyway, I guess that's all I have for today. Yes, this was the uh, the Penny News edition. Oh, one other piece of advice. Uh, don't get your legal advice from Monkey. He, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He has zero idea of what he's talking about. And him beating a trespass citation is also meaningless. I suppose he also beat the Brandenburg Air Force Base. Or did he plead out? Who knows? But don't get your advice from people who don't know what they're talking about. Monkey doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, if you want to know what bar to go to or what brand of weed is the best, definitely ask him and not me because he would know and I don't. But if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about various legal aspects, like what constitutes a traditional public forum and whether or not you had a, a right to be there and to film then he's, he's not the guy to talk to. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.